Windows 10 bugs, Tesla snake charger, and a lovable little badger. I'm Gabriella. Welcome to GeekBeat. Support the show. Visit geekbeat.tv slash patron to find out how. The Electronic Frontier Foundation just announced the release of version 1.0 of Privacy Badger for Chrome and Firefox. Privacy Badger has a lot in common with the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a sh Privacy Badger is a browser extension you can add to either Chrome or Firefox that'll automatically block hidden trackers like it don't give a Whenever you're browsing, the plugin inspects the web traffic to determine if someone's trying to track you. If the same third-party domain appears to be tracking you on three or more different websites, Privacy Badger blocks all future connections. It's free, so you might as well add it to your arsenal of protection, along with your firewall and antivirus. For those of you who have recently updated Windows 10, you'll soon discover there's a serious limitation with the new operating system's ability to display your list of apps. It shows up as soon as you have 512 of them installed. Insert snarky comment here about the kind of people who have over 500 applications installed on their PC. If you're not sure if you've been affected, really, you can bring up the start menu and search for Windows PowerShell. Run the command, get start app space pipe space measure. Or you know what? Just go to geekbeat.tv slash 1084 and we'll have the command in the show notes for you to copy and paste. Here's a fun but futile game for you to try. The game's creators, Peter Cardwell Gardner and Mark Backler whipped up their new game, Error Prone, during a hackathon in just 12 hours. It lets players control 26 cars driving in a circle, each marked with a different letter. Without human intervention, the cars drive predictably at the same speed with the same distance between each. You can take over any car by pressing the corresponding key. When you do, pressing the key speeds up, releasing slows down. Of course, you'll immediately see just how much chaos the human element introduces. And if you want to see total disaster, you can get up to 26 people playing simultaneously for uh, about a tenth of a second. The whole point of the game is to demonstrate that driverless cars will be much more efficient. Which I think the Terminator movies have already proven nicely, thank you. But it's still fun to give it a go. And of course, we've got the link at geekbeat.tv slash 1084. Speaking of cars, back in December of last year, Elon Musk tweeted, By the way, we are actually working on a charger that automatically moves out from the wall and connects like a solid metal snake. For reals. Well, he wasn't kidding. Tesla has now released video of something that looks like it just popped out of somebody's belly in a new remake of Aliens. It is clearly looking around for the electronic charging point, and then it stabs itself into the car. Does anybody else find this just a little bit creepy? Tweet me. Let me know. Well, that's it for this episode. Hey, you know what? You can help support the show by becoming a patron. Just visit geekbeat.tv slash patron, and you can pledge a buck or two a month to keep things growing. Like Carter. He's a growing boy. He eats a lot of tacos. I'm Gabriella. Thanks for watching.